Hey, Sean Chandler here with a new segment where I'm going to give you my daily thoughts on the daily movie news. And with that, over the weekend, they dropped the first little clip of Emma Watson singing as Belle in Beauty and the Beast. And so along those same lines, oh, I had some thoughts on it, and I bet you do too. So before I start talking about it, check out the clip. It's in the description below. I'm doing this on my phone, so obviously I couldn't put the clip in here. But check it out. Tell me in the comment section, what did you think about it? Do you think she has a great voice, bad voice, overprocessed, absolutely perfect? Tell me what you think because I'd love to talk with you about it. With that said, here's what I'm thinking about it. I thought it sounded good. I mean, it's a good recording. She can sing good enough, but it's good enough in that over-processed glee kind of way with a bigger budget. I mean, it very much feels like a studio project with them taking someone that's a good enough singer and pumping them through every machine, mic, studio board that just makes them sound perfect. I mean, it starts off in that first note she holds out. You can just feel the processors, everything placed on top of it. Couple notes later, you can hear the note bend with the auto tune. And I don't say any of that as a knock on her or to criticize the movie, the song, any of it. It, it just is what it is. I mean, I own a lot of the Glee music on my Apple Music account. Um, listen to too much of it, even though I don't really watch, never really watched the show other than the first season. But just to be honest, it sounds very much like pop music produced to death, not something recorded by a great singer. And here's where I'm going with that. It was very odd to me that they would release this as the first clip of her singing. I mean, I didn't even know she could sing. And they released this as the first clip. It's not a video of the song. It's not in a trailer where she's singing. It's a clip where all you hear is this song I've heard hundreds of times before. I mean, just yesterday in my house, my daughter watched Beauty and the Beast all the way through two times. Just yesterday that happened. So I'm quite familiar with these songs. So it's songs we've heard before. The only thing new about it is that she's singing it. And the thing that popped to me immediately was just how processed her voice sounded, just how many effects were placed on it. And I say that as someone that does a lot of hobby recording, that not a great singer myself, and so I use all these same tricks to try and make myself sound better than I do, or sound good enough that the recording sounds good while maybe not representing me as a wonderful, great singer. Because when someone's a great singer, what you can do is just hear a phone recording of it in a room with bad acoustics and you immediately know that's a great singer. Here, they put out a clip, 30 seconds long, processed to death. And it, it kind of reminded me, and this is a weird analogy, but you'll see where I'm going with this, reminded me of those times where they'll have a celebrity who's known for being attractive and in good shape, gets pregnant, has a baby, and then six weeks later, two months later, she appears on the cover of Shape magazine in booty shorts, in a sports bra, flexing off her six-pack abs, looking absolutely perfect. And immediately you just go, something smells here. This, like, that's not how this works. And you immediately, your BS meter's just going off. If you've ever been pregnant, if you ever, I haven't. I've never been pregnant. If you've ever known someone that's had a baby, you just go, what? This isn't how this works. And then the article says, how to lose your baby fat in six weeks. Something ludicrous, something offensive in the level of stupid it is and unrealistic expectations and presenting this celebrity as if this is something you can attain, which, which you can't. And so that's kind of what I came up with, like seeing Emma Watson in this kind of being like, this feels like that, where you just know this celebrity put on the cover of the magazine had a chef, a personal trainer, nutritionist all throughout the pregnancy so she could go to the gym, have everything absolutely perfect. So she's working out, dieting to perfection. So she gains the absolute least amount of baby fat while at the same time keeping eating healthily so that they're feeding the baby but not storing fat. Absolute to perfection, no stress because other people can clean the house, all of that fun business. Then has the baby, can hand it off to the nanny while the cleaners come to the house and keep the house clean. And the chef cooks perfect meals that are healthy, edible, and will help you lose weight. Has the personal trainer showing up every single day telling exactly what they need to do. And then they show up for a photo shoot with perfect lights, with a wonderful camera, with the right angles, the right amount of airbrushing. Take this 
picture in the perfect outfit at the right angles. Then it's given to an expert Photoshop guy that smooths everything out so the legs look better than they could before. The color grading's absolutely perfect. The eye bags from not sleeping, from having a kid, all gone. But there's a nanny anyway, so they can probably still get a pretty good night's sleep. And then they slap it on this, this Photoshopped celebrity in this ridiculous bubble on the cover of the magazine and present it as if this is realistic when it's not. Same thing with Emma Watson. She can sing to some extent. She can sing. And I don't, I don't, maybe she's amazing in the movie. Maybe live she's incredible. And I didn't know any of this. And you probably didn't know she could sing either. We get this first clip and it feels like that to me of anyone that can kind of just carry a tune just a little bit. If you take them to a world-class singing coach and work you through to discover your range and the right notes and the tricks that you can do just right. Then go to the studio or the movie producer guy to make sure that it syncs up with, all right, can you sing in these keys that we need to do the songs? Or we can change the key to match your range. They can do all that stuff so it lines up perfectly with her abilities. And then it's that theater, musical, singy, talky type deal. So it's not quite, we're not talking about singing scales and doing runs that are run through octave ranges here. Then you go into the studio and you sing into a $25,000 mic. It's then run through a $5 million soundboard. And then you run it through tens of thousands of dollars worth of piece of hardware and software that can make things sound absolutely perfect. And all that equipment is being used by a team of guys making hundreds, if not millions of dollars every single year. And they can charge $100,000 per song to make them sound absolutely perfect. Well, that's what we got. And... I really don't mean to, I don't care at all. I'm sure I'll love the movie. I'm going to watch it a hundred times with my daughter throughout her time before, you know, she goes on to adult life. Um, it's, it's not to dog it. It's just to say, let's think realistically about what we're hearing here and what it is. And that's fine. There's no reason to make fun of it. Just acknowledge what the fantasy is. It's not just that uh, Emma Watson is a cute girl that uh, has been made millions of dollars since she was a child, gets to speak to the UN, and she can sing. It's not quite that she's all the full package. She has a world-class team of people helping her be a good singer that can sing at the level to be in a sure, sure to be blockbuster. I'm sure it'll be a great movie. No, nothing to dog on her. Let's just call it what it is. This is highly processed pop music based off the 30 seconds they gave us. But that's just my opinion that I'm shouting at you into my phone. What did you think about the little clip? Are you more excited, less excited about Beauty and the Beast based off of this? Tell me what you think, because I don't want to just talk about Beauty and the Beast and Emma Watson singing. I want to talk about it with you in the comment section. Go ahead and join us down there. If you're new to my channel, I try to give put out videos almost every single day, because I love to talk about movie, TV, give my weird little perspective on it, an interesting little take. So click that subscribe button if you like this sound of my voice or want to give me a shot. With all that said, thank you for watching.